Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Welcome to the uh, new subscribers. Thank you for being part of this weather community. A lot going on and we keep it in perspective on this channel. We track things storm by storm. This time of year, there is supposed to be a lot going on. Uh, we're getting deeper to the hurricane season. This here is Dexter. It is exactly uh, where we've talked about uh, it going, uh, kind of splitting the U.S. and Bermuda. But there will be multiple systems forming over about the next week and a half in the Atlantic. New name systems. And what I'll be tracking for is how close they get to land. Let me just start with Dexter. Dexter, here's Bermuda. Uh, tropical storm. It'll stay north of Bermuda and then move into the North Atlantic over water exactly where we like these things. We don't root for storms on this channel, no doubt. I've been through many, been through a lot with uh, you over the years. So uh, again, uh, that's not what this uh, channel is about. All right, tracking some areas of rain and storms. We're going to see a little flare-up of some rain back through parts of the Bahamas. Jamaica in a couple days, we have a better chance of some afternoon storms in building Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras in the Eastern Caribbean for us, Barbados, St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Trinidad, we are watching off toward the east. Doesn't look like a whole lot now, but a new tropical wave emerging. I do believe that will develop and a second area back behind it. I also do believe that will develop. So we have a couple new name systems that will be popping up over the next week to week and a half. Now, this is the next 10 days showing the chance of tropical storm development. This is the European model. It's not painting any crazy colors across the Gulf and the Caribbean. Now, down the road in the Gulf, we'll be watching uh, what may try to uh, eventually get into the Gulf. The water temperatures are so very warm, but as of now, I'm very much watching the Atlantic waters. Now, the first, of course, we have Dexter out there. You see these brighter colors here. The tropical wave coming off right now, the European model has this developing some and curving. The American model, though, has it getting closer to land. I'm not sure yet. It's down the road which, which scenario will play out. I don't just look at the models. I look at the environment, and I need to see this kind of develop a little bit first to kind of get a good handle on where it will go. Not that I want it to develop, but I just need a little more time. But it's the tropical way back behind that one, which is really over in Central Africa at this point, that may get closer to us in the Caribbean down the road. And I will show you that in just a second. I don't leave anything out this time of year. All right, we get a look at those water temperatures. We, we know they're warm. We are in August. They are so very warm, though, in some spots. So if anything were to ride over uh, these Area, especially these pink shadings in here, they could flare up rather quickly. Systems, we've seen them grow very quickly uh, over the last uh, several years as they kind of approach. So I uh, got you covered right here. Now, let me show you the American model and what's going on. We have this up here, that is Dexter, right? But this is the area we're watching out off the coast of Africa. That is the first area that we'll try to develop. And then also still watching the Carolinas. If you're in North Carolina and South Carolina, there could be a little flare up at the least additional rain later this week. And there goes uh, Dexter, high seas for the Southeast US, watching some of that rain near the Bahamas. This is a tropical wave sliding by. Uh, and I wanna zoom down into that in just a moment. But let me take you out in time here a little bit further. So as we get toward the end of the week, you can see the time frame here. This is by Friday. By Friday, stopping the clock here, a couple things to watch. This area here, that is that first uh, tropical wave, coming off the coast of Africa, gradually developing. And there's that spot near the Carolinas. Not quite sure how much it's going to spin up, but at the least, there will be some additional rain. So we've got a couple areas, but there's going to be another one back behind this one that will try to develop. So let's go step by step for you. Take you out on time here even more so. This is getting through the weekend into the weekend. This would be by Saturday evening. Monitoring the southeast uh, U.S. should be north of the Bahamas. Additional rain. Here's this spot here getting closer to the Caribbean. But I do believe this first one will kind of miss out on the Caribbean for us, which is, of course, good news, and ride more to the northwest. And there comes the next area back behind it. So let's go out on time here. Now, please be mindful that the weather is, I mean, we're looking into the future, right? It's hard to forecast three days out, yet alone uh, looking over a week out. So as we go out on time here, this is August 12th. I do expect this to change, but here's that first tropical wave right in here. Here we are in the Bahamas, and then here's that one back behind it, okay? So as I mentioned, multiple systems could develop. This one may take a curve, hopefully Miss Bermuda, may take a curve, stay out to sea. Maybe it gets closer to land. I do not know yet. Uh, it is just so far out in time, but clearly we have spots 
spots to watch. This one here though, I do believe will kind of, uh, it won't curve as much. Uh, whatever this is, whatever this ends up being, will be closer to us in the Caribbean. So I do appreciate you sharing this channel with others just to get the right, correct, uh, measured information out there. So two areas that we're gonna be watching closely, especially as we work our way into the weekend and next week. Now, I know this map's a little bit different. It's kind of hard to see, especially I'm on uh, vacation with my family right now, so a different setup. Uh, but uh, I did want to show you this because I don't want to leave anything uh, out. Uh, here we are in the uh, Caribbean. This here is Dexter watching the tropical waves coming off. This is the European model showing the winds. So you can see how we'll see how there's some slight differences just going out in time here. So this is Dexter staying north, moving into the uh, North Atlantic uh, time frame here. I'm going into Thursday, Friday. Let me work our way into the upcoming weekend, Saturday, Sunday, just kind of going out in time here. And then this is by Monday. So this here is a week from now. Here is this spot, that first tropical wave. The American model had it closer to the Bahamas the European model even more away. That's why I mentioned I don't like additional alarm at this point that something's coming at a uh, land. I'm not sure yet, but here is that second tropical wave. That one clearly has my attention. Uh, as we work our way deeper into next week, by the middle of next week, it is showing something near us in the Eastern Caribbean. What it is, not sure, sure yet. Obviously, this is a week and a half from now, but I like to give you the heads up. We have things to watch now, right? We'll keep an eye on this one, uh, the first one, but the second one will be closer to the uh, Caribbean. So two areas to watch along with Dexter, along with that area in the uh, Carolinas. Uh, but as these develop, we'll go step by step, island by island, a big island, small island, all islands matter. Uh, we'll be watching these, how they evolve. Now, let me show you the closer picture here. Uh, this is that area of rain near the Bahamas. Tropical waves moving by Jamaica today. Hit or miss storms, uh, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba. Buildup of moisture in Central America. A lot of this will be shifting off to the Eastern Pacific. I'll show you a new name system out there in just a moment. Then as we work our way into tomorrow, kind of hit or miss variety for storms around. Watching a few spots that will get a better chance of some rain as we work our way into uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, seeing more of that rain pulling back through Cuba and the Bahamas. And of course, watching all of this building up, mainly south of Belize. Belize, we have a chance of some showers, but higher chance as we work our way toward Honduras. And then as we work our way forward into Wednesday, Wednesday, as this tropical wave passes by Jamaica, we have a better chance of rain and storm. Still not for all of us. I wish we had a higher chance, but a better chance on Wednesday. Additional rain through the Bahamas and Cuba. And then watch this area out here in the Eastern Pacific, but all eyes will be on what is going on in the Atlantic with that possibility of multiple name systems out there. We'll see if they stay over water. We will see together if they get closer to land. Now, watching the spot near the Carolinas, here is this north of Bermuda, that is Dexter. Dexter, again, will kind of ride off into the North Atlantic, maybe a big wind maker for uh, Europe down the road. But as we go forward here, just that same pattern, patterns can get really locked in additional rain just kind of following in the track of uh, Dexter. So we'll monitor this to see if there's any development. There's that blob of rain near the Bahamas, not really seeing development out of that, but that'll kind of feed in the moisture into this area. So Southeast US, as I mentioned, the end of the week, uh, even if something doesn't develop, we're going to see some additional rain. This here is as we work our way into Wednesday. This will be a spot to uh, continue to monitor. There goes Dexter, staying away from the Atlantic region of Canada, always watching uh, Nova Scotia, uh, Newfoundland, uh, but watching in through here, additional rain through the Bahamas. But this will be a spot to monitor for the potential of some development. Could be a little tropical storm or tropical depression trying to develop as we get toward the end of the week. So seeing uh, name systems popping up where we just had uh, Dexter, De well, Dexter's still out there. Aaron is the next name on the list. Aaron and then Ferdinand. Uh, these two may be developing over the next week to week and a half out there in the Atlantic. We swing over here, more name systems. Here's Hawaii, always watching Mexico, even Southern California. This here is what is left of Gil as expected. It has fallen apart, bringing in some swells to Hawaii. Uh, back behind it though, watching additional name systems that will be popping up. Now this one here could get a little bit closer to Hawaii, following generally in the same track. So as we go out in time, we'll be watching it as we go uh, deeper into time. And you could see here this kind of working its way toward Hawaii. We'll see how close it gets. There should be some weakening though. If it lifts north in latitude, if it lifts north enough, it will enter into some cooler water and another system back behind it. 
But this system here that will be approaching Hawaii uh, back behind Gill, uh, this one, uh, Henrietta, and then after that, you can see the list of names as we're a little bit deeper into the list of names as we work our way into the eastern and central uh, Pacific uh, side. As far as rain goes, I'll zoom in here in just a second where we have some higher totals, but scattered storms pulling back toward Cuba. Uh, Jamaica, as we go over the next couple of days, jumped ahead a little bit quickly. Let me move uh, back into this. Uh, Jamaica, where we get some storms, so maybe Montego Bay, we could get a few. Uh, we're looking at some spots of 50 millimeters of rain. It's still not going to be all of us, but Wednesday, the better chance. Hit or miss, Haiti, the Dominican Republic. Not as much. Again, we have that dust around St. Martin. Stacia, uh, Saba, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Barbuda, some of that dust around the next couple of days. A rain chance rather limited all the way through St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad, St. Uh, Vincent. Uh, rain chance is not super high for now, but we are drawing our attention, of course, to the uh, east. There are some of the rain central sections of Venezuela, not as much Guyana and Suriname. Building, though, in Central America, especially Honduras South, believes that we will get some scattered areas of rain. And in these sectors here, uh, east coast of Nicaragua, Caribbean side, we could have some totals easily over 150 millimeters of rain for a three day rain total. Giving you that heads up there. Mexico City, we've got a, a chance of some rain, seeing some rain pulling through parts of Texas, isolated areas of flooding, monitoring the rivers, no doubt, heads up there. And then as we swing back toward uh, this area, this is what's building. You see over toward the Carolinas, more so South Carolina, and then working our way into Georgia. But this rain here is going to be lifting offshore and to the north, eventually toward the outer banks of North Carolina once we work our way toward the end of the week. Now looking at some of these wave heights, again a slightly different map here, uh, just a bit of a chop. This is the Central Caribbean. We're looking at about two to about two and a half uh, meters over the next few days. Atlantic passageways are not too bad. Just be mindful, of course, as we go from today into tomorrow. It's not just the seas, if you have any boating interest. Seas are generally looking okay, but as we know, we need to watch out for some of those uh, scattered storms that will be around. Uh, Southern Caribbean, a little bit choppier, of course, building as we get into the eastern Pacific side with a new system uh, south of Acapulco uh, that will be uh, in south of uh, Zewantaneo. Some, uh, uh, some development will be possible the next uh, few days, so uh, watching that. All right, let's go forward here. You see by Wednesday for us in Jamaica, we're up to a 50% chance of scattered showers, 20 to 30% chance of passing ones possible. We had a few nearby last night uh, in the Cayman Islands. Trinidad and Tobago, our rain chance about 30 to 40%. It's not super high, 10 to 20% chance. That's it in Barbados, 20 to 30% chance in St. Lucia. Again, a little more interested on what's going on off toward the east with those two new tropical waves that will be coming off the coast of Africa. Grenada, rain chance 30% for today and a 30% chance the next couple of days. St. Vincent the Grenadine. 20 to 30 percent chance as we pull our way back through Martinique and the rain chance generally holding on the minimal side. Dominica, we swing north. That's where we have a little more of that dust around. Isolated shower possible in Guadeloupe. We swing through Antigua Barbuda, uh, being mindful of the lower air quality. A rain chance passing shower variety, 30 percent chance. 20 percent chance for its left of today. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 20 to 30 percent chance. Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance still staying low. St. Martin, Saba and Anastasia isolated thunderstorms for us in Puerto Rico over the next three days and a 20 to 30 percent chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands with some of that dust. Rain chance building though through the Bahamas. We have some areas of rain around especially northern and central Bahamas. Turks and Caicos next couple of days rain chance 30 percent 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered storms so they could be quite strong if you get one in the Dominican Republic even in Haiti monitoring some of that runoff watching those rivers storm chance at 40 percent. We will see a building by Wednesday in Belize. Our rain chance is going up. Hopkins back through Belize City. 10 to 20 percent chance in Aruba. Uh, staying minimal. Curacao and Bonaire about a 20 to 30 percent chance over the next few days. A 50 percent chance in Guyana and running at about a 40 percent chance over the next two days in Suriname. Rain chance holding at 40 percent but again strong storms, thunderstorms possible with our daytime heating in Cuba. Looking at a 70 percent chance. That elevated chance of rain. Costa Rica, Panama monitoring the flooding. Building especially 
uh, eastern side of Nicaragua. High rain totals, giving you the heads up on that flooding. Building some by Wednesday in Honduras, we're up to a 60% chance, holding on to a 60% chance Guatemala and El Salvador. 40 to 50% chance scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms in Mexico City. Scattered about as well the next few days, Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. 50 to 60% chance in northern Colombia. About a 50 to 60% chance in northern Venezuela. Right now in Bermuda, just monitoring Dexter that will be rotting to the north, monitoring those elevated seas over the next several days. So multiple areas to watch, development more likely, tracking what gets closer to land over the next week to week and a half. We have an active time period ahead. The next name storm, that is Aaron. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a really good rest of your day.